Hello. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Nice to see you again. Yes, once again. How was your day? Fine. Okay. Where Where do you work? What's the name of the, the company? Como digo de todo un poco. Excuse me? Pues de todo un poco. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Okay, this is the last week de la última semana. Yes. Yes. Y va a haber algún otro módulo con usted. La verdad, lo que sé es que los van cambiando, nunca, nunca vemos. El, eh, por ejemplo, el siguiente módulo, generalmente siempre hay un cambio. Ah, okay. Sí. Estamos mal entonces. Para que vayan aprendiendo, bueno, como cada uno tiene su forma de, de, de trabajo, eh, sí. para que vayan adaptándose a diferentes acentos incluso. Sí, tiene razón. Por ahí vamos a estar por cualquier cosa. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Apareció Rosalí. Hello, Rosalí. Welcome, Rosalí. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. 
Good evening, good evening, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let me see how many people do it right now. I got only eight. Okay, welcome to all of you. I'm ready to start. We are starting. Uh, last week I've been checking all your grades also, and I have seen that uh, there are some of you that are missing some activities. He estado revisando la plataforma y me he dado cuenta que hay algunos de ustedes que no han realizado eh, incluso el midterm examen. Y ya estamos haciendo el cierre esta semana. Si terminamos viernes, yo el día sábado, a uh, más tardar a las 8 de la mañana, yo voy a entregar su cuadro para poder estar solvente con todas mis eh, obligaciones del módulo. So I ask you, I request to you to do it in order to help me. Por esa razón les pido a todos que tratemos de solventar lo que nos hace falta, ya que eh, de esa manera pues también nos están ayudando para poder salir a fin. 
de entregar el cuadro de notas. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, don José Alejandro. Eh, eh, en ese caso, ¿yo cómo voy allí, teacher? A usted, let me see. ¿Qué me falta completar? Ahí aparece como Alvarado Cruz. Ajá. Bárbaro. Completa, Hola, sí. Completó hasta la semana cuatro. No lo hemos visto, bárbaro. Ay, fue puchito. Me fui muy adelante, teacher. <ríe> ok. El único que ha completado todo, creo, no. También Evel Carino. Eh, Julia Lonet. Bueno. Teacher, solo una pregunta, fíjate que en el ejercicio, si no me equivoco, en el 12 o el 13, es similar sobre el que tenía la pregunta del ejercicio 6, fíjate. De veras. Eh, ajá, sí, porque como dice que hay que respetar lo que son los puntos, las comas y... Yes. Y vaya, yo, yo... Y cuando se empieza, se empieza con mayúscula, va. Capital letter, capital letter, sir. Ajá, capital letter. Entonces, fíjate que no me... Siempre me da error en tres. Ajá. Ajá. Exacto. Que de todo sería solo... Casi esas serían las que me faltan para completarlas nomás, teacher. Ah, ok. Maybe at the end of the session, I, I can check it and I can give you some tips how you can resolve it. Al uh -huh. final de la sesión posiblemente pueda tener un poco de tiempo para revisar y darle algunas ideas. Ah, está bien, teacher. Ahí estamos dispuestos. Ok, thank you very much. Ah. Ok, somebody else, let me, let me see. Uh, déjenme ver. Por aquí tengo a alguien que no ha terminado eh, la semana 3. Brenda. Más. Ismael y Luis Armando. Bueno, esto es bueno. Michael que no apareció. No sé qué pasó. Con Michael. entre otros. Bueno, quienes les hace falta completar la semana 3, les pido el favor. Eh, eso es lo que no quería, que corriéramos en, al final de la, de la recta, pero va a tocar porque ni modo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Este, teacher, eh, aún sigo en el trabajo, así que no voy a poder participar hasta las nueve. A las nueve okay. llego a mi casa. Ok, ahí solo póngase, póngase ahí de listener para, para saber. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, I got uh, one, two, three, four, listener. Teacher, solo una, una duda más. Y es que con la, con la, la, la documentación, eh, en mi caso, la eh, Mayra Rodríguez era la que se comunicaba con la licenciada de la, de la fábrica donde estoy. Ok. Porque ella se, se encargó de hacer todos los trámites para poder mandarle los papeles. Ok. Eh, no sé si en ese caso va a ser igual o tengo que irlos a a pedir yo para presentarlos porque cuando yo fui y los pedí solamente me dijeron que esa documentación no me lo podían entregar a mí sino que 
a la persona encargada del curso era nomás que se lo podían entregar, me dice. Bien. Porque eso fue, me dijo la encargada, la licenciada que está ahí ahorita. De recursos humanos. Ajá, de recursos humanos. Ok. Bueno, entonces hay que seguir el mismo proceso, hay que estar pendiente. Ya les enviaron la preinscripción. Ajá. Creo que ya se las enviaron a sus empresas. Hay que estar ahí listos para no quedarse fuera y que puedan seguir este, en el... Entonces, para, para escribirme tengo que esperar que me dé la respuesta a ella, para ver si ya, si ya lo solicitó. Sí, solo es de estar ahí pendiente hablando con ella y decirle cómo ve el proceso, si ya, si ya lo inscribieron, cómo, para recordarle, porque acuérdense que tiene muchas ocupaciones. No, eso sí, tiene razón, teacher. Sí. Eh, mañana. Eh, sí, solo para quizás orientar un poco ahí al compañero, este creo que tiene que mandarle un correo toda la persona que se encarga del curso, ¿verdad? Este, a la persona de recursos humanos con la que tuvo contacto la primera vez. Cuando ya ha enviado la documentación, este copian al, al, a la persona que se está inscribiendo para que sepa eh, que ya se enviaron los documentos. Porque en nuestro caso, así ha, así ha pasado. O sea, por medio de correo se comunicaron y nos copiaron a nosotras para que estuviéramos este, enteradas de que sí habíamos sido inscritas y que ya se habían mandado los documentos. Así que no sé si, si él puede estar pendiente del correo para que vea cómo va el proceso. Eh, gracias, Rosalía. Y vamos a estar pendientes allí de eso y vamos a comunicarnos con ella para, para ver qué tal va, si ya se los mandaron. O si no, lo voy a, voy a pedir. Tal vez los pueden enviar ellos también al correo que ya ha quedado registrado de una sola vez. Sí. Brenda is there. Brenda, are you there, Brenda? No. I don't see you there. Me llega a Brenda. Ingrid. Ismael. Present. Present teacher. Uh, Ismael, I, I need that you were week three. <laughs> la semana que acaba de cerrar, necesito que me la complete para que salgamos bien. Inglés está, okay, Inglés está por ahí también, en el ciclo de la semana 3, ir avanzando en la semana 4. Carlos, okay, ¿se encuentra Carlos el, el Yasser? Carlos. Hello, teacher. ¿Nos hace falta el mixture en exam? Eh, sí, este fin de semana estuve ocupado, eh, pero nomás tengo un poquito de tiempo, lo, lo voy a completar. Ok, ok, thank you. Rosalie, uh, no, Michael es Michael, Michael ya no está, Rosalie está bien. Bueno, entonces solo sería Andrés. Are you there, Andrés? No. Así, ah, ahí está de listening. Andrés Leonardo, el midterm exam y, el, y la semana 3 no hace falta para ir, para ir bien. Brenda, Natalie. Ok, ok, estoy. Brenda, are you there, Brenda? No. No. Bueno, ya les avisé a quienes les hace falta, por favor, please, please. Vámonos al día para que no nos agarre el tiempo. Okay, uh, I'm going to check out the attendance now. Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria, Ana Victoria. Okay, is there um, Andres Leonardo? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Brenda, Natalie. Hello, Brenda. 
만일 생겨나요. 만일 지금 바래스 김영기야 헬로. 카를로스 is there, right? Present. Okay, Diana Yamilet. Diana Yamilet. Diana Yamilet. Teacher. Diana escribió un mensaje en WhatsApp diciendo que no se iba a poder conectar, que estaba en el Good evening, teacher. Voy a llegar noche a casa, dice. Ah, oh, que okay, se sabe. más escribe ahí. Bueno. Eh, Erika Verónica. Present, teacher. Say hello, Erika. Ok, Evelyn. Evelyn Karim. Present teacher, present. Welcome, welcome. Um, Ingrid, Elisa. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid, still. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Ahí está, Alejandro. Eh, Julia Janet. No here. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Luis Armando. Bolo, bolo, bolo. Eh, Marvin. Present teacher. Ok, Martín dijo que va a llegar tarde. Ok, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Michael is here. Michael. Me apareció Rosalí. Present teacher. Sandra Ivette. Present teacher. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Estamos con tres tipos. Let me see my presentation. Okay, this is class number 16. Bueno, ya hemos pasado 15 clases. And this one is going to be number 16. How many lessons do I have? Four? Five? And a simple listening today. Están generando para sectas. Lata. Very money, very money. Okay, this is uh, the topic for today. How to use prepositional place. And this is class number 16. We are going to start this class with the reading. Vamos a iniciar esta clase con una lectura. I invite you to read it. Okay, so reading. I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in, in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. My teacher always said it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I had short conversation with myself, I think, it works. I also make short stories about people and say that. No sé si solo yo no escucho bien. Sí se escucha bien. Ah, oh, my goodness. Sí se escucha. Cuando, cuando, cuando comience a hacer algo y no oyen bien, les pido de favor que me lo indiquen desde el inicio para que comencemos en el tiempo. Eh, tal vez será su conexión de internet. O alguien más me está oyendo entrecortado. No, teacher. Bueno, al menos yo escucho bien también. Yo lo escucho bien, bien, teacher. Voy a iniciar otra vez. 
Voy a iniciar otra vez. El segundo párrafo. Dice, my teacher always said, it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I had short conversation with my pair. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room. Of course, people would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay. I know it's a, a little long because I uh, have uh, two paragraphs. Maybe uh, I invite you to understand the third paragraph. Vamos a, a, a leer estos puntos. Pueden abrir sus micrófonos y repetir conmigo. You can repeat after me. Okay, I'm going to start reading. I'm, I, I'm I, a bit shy. I, I am a bit shy. I am a bit shy. Shy, shy. 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 When I have to speak in English. I have to speak in English. When I have to speak in English. When I have to have to speak in English. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. About making mistakes. 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 I also. I, I also, also feel lack confidence. Feel lack confidence. Many of my friends, many of my friends, don't worry, don't worry about mistakes. About mistakes, they just talk and talk. They just talk in the club. They always get their message across. They, they always, always get their message, message across. across. Even, even, even when, if their grammar is wrong. If their the grammar, grammar is wrong. wrong. I think, I, I think, think, this is the best thing to do. This is the best to do. No, my teacher, my teacher, always says, always says, it's best, it's best to learn by doing. To learn by doing. I don't try to speak English. If I don't try, if I don't try to speak English, to English, English I'll never, I never be able, be able, able to use it, to use it, it. I need it. When I did it, one thing I started doing, one thing I started doing recently, recently, was talking to myself. Was talking myself. Talking to myself. I should myself. I have shared conversation. I have shared conversation with myself. With, with, with myself. myself. I think I think it works. I think it it's worse. Worse. I also I, 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 I,
And say them aloud. And say them aloud. I do this. I do this in my room. In my room. Of course. Of course. People. People. Think. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. If I did it. Yeah, I did it in class, in class, or, or, or on the train. On the train. On the train. Okay, I need somebody to tell me what is the meaning of the first paragraph, the main idea. Maybe you are not going to give me a translation, uh, literally, but what I need is the message. Ok, alguien que nos comparta qué comprende del párrafo 1, qué dice ahí, por ejemplo, en la primera línea donde dice I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in English. Soy un poco tímido para hablar inglés. Ah, ok, I'm a little worried about making mistakes. ¿Qué dirá ahí? Estoy preocupado como de cometer muchos errores. Muchos errores. I also still lack confidence. También me falta un poco de confianza. Yes, so many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. Y mis amigos dicen que no me preocupe por mis errores. Muchos de mis amigos dicen que no me preocupe por los errores. They just talk and talk. Ellos. Ellos simplemente hablan y hablan. Yes, they always get their message across. Mañana. Sí. They always get their message across. Siempre transmiten su Zoom. mensaje. Su mensaje, ok. Even if their grammar is wrong. Aún si su gramática no está bien. I think this is the best thing to do. Eh, creo que esto se debe mejorar. La mejor manera de hacerlo. My teacher always said it's best to learn by doing. Mi maestro siempre dice que es mejor aprender haciendo. y I don't try to speak English, si yo no trato de aprender inglés, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. Nunca seré capaz de usarlo cuando lo necesite. Once in I start doing recently was talking to myself. Una de las cosas que inicié haciendo fue hablando conmigo mismo. I had short conversation with myself. Yo tengo conversaciones cortas conmigo mismo. I think it works. Y veo que me funciona. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. También hago historias cortas sobre las personas y las digo en voz alta. I do this in my room. Lo hago en mi cuarto. Of course, desde luego, people would think I'm crazy. La gente podría pensar que estoy loco if I did it in class or on the train. Si lo hago en clase o en el tren. En este caso sería el metro, el bus, whatever. That is the meaning of these two paragraphs. At the same time we, that we are going to practice reading, al mismo tiempo que vamos a practicar leyendo, um, I am giving you some tips in order that you can improve your speaking English. También les estoy dando como algunos tips de cómo pueden mejorar ustedes eh, la fluidez en su idioma. Sometimes you don't need to care about mistakes, even though the, uh, maybe your grammar is not going to be right. But what you need to do is just to communicate with somebody else. And that way you are going to style them in a different way. And another thing is that you need to learn uh, by doing at the moment that you need your English to do it. Because if you don't do it at the moment that you need it, maybe you are going to hesitate. Al momento que lo necesites, si no practicado, va a tener dudas. Si va a decir, será o no será así. 
Okay, any comment about these two paragraphs before we start reading? Algún comentario referente a los dos párrafos y su significado antes de comenzar a leer? Me identifico con la lectura. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But, but at the same time, you need to take care uh, about the tips. Pero al mismo tiempo, tome en cuenta los tips. Vea, ese es, una, es un método muy bueno, comenzar a, a hacer conversaciones con uno mismo. ¿Sí? Conversaciones cortas. De repente va a encontrar palabras que dice, bueno, ¿y esto cómo se dice? Entonces ahí comienza la autoinvestigación. Y también lo otro de hacer historias cortas sobre la gente y comenzar a decirlas. Y de repente no me va a gustar como lo digo. Eh, I need to switch a little bit. Tengo que hacer como un cambio pequeño para, para que todo se bien. Esto generalmente, uh, I recommend you to do it in, in, in front of a mirror. Recomendable hacerlo frente a un espejo uh, in order to see your face and how you express and articulate every word. Cómo yo hago mis expresiones y cómo articulo eh, cada palabra. I don't care if people say that I'm getting crazy. And I remember when I start, uh, when I started le uh, learning English, I used to study at least two hours every day. Cuando yo inicié a aprender inglés, estudiaba en forma eh, como de autoaprendizaje dos horas diarias. Y eh, justamente me ponía enfrente del espejo. Even my family sometimes uh, told me that uh, I was very kind of crazy about the language. Aún eh, algunos de mi familia me dijeron que estás haciendo loco por estar aprendiendo el idioma. Y ahora les digo, ok, vean mis locuras hasta un bien llegado. And I get up about that. No. no me puedo quejar porque no me ha llevado muy, pero muy lejos out of this continent. Okay. Who wants to read the paragraph? Because uh, let me see the time. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I need at least five volunteers who wants to read it and later on we need to switch and start talking about the topic. Okay. Alguien quiere ser leer? Sandra? Lea okay. el paragraph number one, please. And okay. then Maria can read the, the second one. I am a bit shy when I have speaking English. I am a little worried about making mistake. I also still lack confidence. Many of me, my friends don't worry about mistake. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across. Even if their grammar is, is wrong, I think this is the best thing to do. Okay, thank you. Somebody who wants to read the next paragraph? Who wants to do it? I don't see volunteers. Okay, Anna Victoria. My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I uh, never be um, able, able. able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversation with myself. I think it's worse. I also make short history about people and say them hello. I do I do this in my room, of course. People will think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay, thank you. Somebody who wants to read the problem. Hurry up, if you want to read, hurry up, because we need to switch into another activity. Well, do you want to read it? No? Smeralda. Smeralda. 
And okay, and a bite she went. I bit, have bit, to bit, bit. I'm sorry, a bit, a bit shy, a bit shy. Bit, yes, bit shy. I perdon. Okay, and I bit shy when I have to speak English and a little worried about making mistakes. Uh, I also still like confidence money of my friends don't worry about mistakes they just tell and tell they always get their mess me, messenger algo así, across oven if their grammar is one I think this in the best thing to do do okay grammar is wrong run grammar is wrong mm -hmm. y me, este me, dear mensaje ¿cómo se lee? message 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 gracias message. okay thank you the last one el último porque tenemos que movernos a otra actividad por ahí hagan un screenshot para que les quede de recuerdo ese ese reading y apliquen esas técnicas, por favor. Ok, somebody else wants to read it, no? Ok. No quieren leer, no quieren leer, ok, no quieren leer. I am giving you, giving you the chance to read it. Sigo yo. Ok, you can continue. My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing it, I don't <coughs> To speak English, to speak English, I'll never be able. 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 El boy. Eh, eh, to to us, I think I need a uh, it one thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversation with myself. I think it my teacher works. always says <coughs> my teacher always says it's best no, to learn no, no, by no, doing no, 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 no. if I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to my talking to myself. I have a short conversation with myself. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People will think I'm crazy if I did it in the class or in the train. Okay, thank you. Ahí hubo como un cruce de comunicación porque todavía estaba la compañera leyendo, pero no sé qué pasó. Sorry, sorry. I... <laughs> okay, no problem. Lo único que ella se quedó por ahí, no sé por dónde. No, no sé qué, qué fue lo que sucedió ahí. I don't know what happened there, but don't worry. Just try to um, try to raise your hand in order to give you the chance to do it. Okay, this is the chance that you have in order to practice reading. And I think Chami is going to help you to uh, improve your fluency. Because in next model, uh, much of you are going to have uh, the opportunity to, to get fluency. Because you are going to see another topic and at the same time you are going to speak more, maybe. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if somebody has a question related with this reading. No sé si alguien tenga una pregunta relacionada al reading. If not, I need to move forward. Solo algo que quien estaba leyendo. Um, myself, with myself, myself, the intonation. I have short conversation with myself. I think it works. And also make sure stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room for people would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. I recommend you to read. 
different uh, article related uh, with the language. And that way you are going to learn how to get the fluency and try to learn vocabulary. Any questions so far for you? No? No preguntas? No preguntas? No, teacher. Pero no quisieron leer los demás. Entonces, ¿qué está pasando aquí? I don't know what is happening. What is happening there? Excuse me? Maybe they are a, a little shy to read it. Do you know what is the meaning of the expression? A little shy? Sí, un poco tímido. A lot of... A, a, a lot of shiny... <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> no, yo no creo. Para aprender un idioma hay que dejar a un lado el, el shiny. We need to speak. And don't worry about mistakes. Pero si no habla, aquí no, no, no es que solo de, de oír, no. We need to practice. We need to practice. It is like, if you want to learn how to swim, what you need to do is just to get in, inside the pool and, and start doing it and putting in practice the techniques. Okay, let us continue then. Solo les queda esta semana, por favor, aprovechen el espacio para participación. A la hora que hagan su evaluación, eh, ve, antes de eso, déjenme decirles que les va a llegar un correo ahí por miércoles donde eh, se hace una encuesta de satisfacción. Y pedirles que esa encuesta no la vayan a llenar porque la vamos a hacer todos juntos en clase. La que sí pueden llenar es la que me corresponde a mí, ahí les llega una donde dice evaluación del teacher. Ahí usted eh, pues tome en consideración lo que usted estime conveniente. Y ahí hace mi evaluación. Y, y ahí vamos hacia adelante. En lo personal, bueno, sí, he tratado sí. de, de, de ayudarle a todos siempre y cuando eh, así me lo han permitido. Le doy la oportunidad a todos. Cuando me han escrito para solventar algún problema, he tratado de ayudarlos incluso. Son parte de que sabe algunas preguntas que pueden aparecer por ahí. Pero como digo, al final es pues, usted quien tiene la mejor versión y es quien va a seleccionar lo, lo que considere conveniente referente al proceso que hemos llevado nosotros en el proceso de dosificación del aprendizaje. Así que lo de la encuesta eh, de satisfacción es así, la hacemos el último día, que sería el viernes. Les voy a pedir de favor que nadie se adelante a hacer la sola, por favor. Eso es muy delicado. Eh, eso se envía directamente a Insafor y Insafor no permite correcciones. Así es que eh, les voy a pedir que tranquilos, lo vamos a hacer eso el día último. Ahí debemos de tener hasta el, nom eh, el, el número de, de, de orden. Eso se los envían a ustedes a través de un correo electrónico que va a llegar ahí por miércoles para que ya el viernes estemos listos y poder hacerlo. Ellos nos van a decir la hora en la que debemos de hacerlo todos juntos. De preferencia ese día, you can use a computer. Si usted puede y tiene, use una computadora porque le va a tocar copiar y pegar alguna información. Pero si usted tiene para hacerlo desde su teléfono y cree que no se le va a pegar ningún número, ok, you can do it that way too. Pero ahí es bajo cada quien su responsabilidad. Por ejemplo, el número de orden no puede faltarle un número porque ahí tenemos un error. Eh, tienen que tener a la mano, ahí incluso se los envían el nombre de su empresa. Eh, 
todos los datos que ustedes han dado para inscribirse al proceso. Ok. Let us continue then talking about the next activity that we need to do. Okay, number one said, let's start at as some plasma where they were and the location of it. Also mention where you were and its location too. Uh, pregúntele a algunos compañeros dónde trabajan y cuál es la dirección. También mencione dónde usted trabaja y cuál es su dirección. Okay, we are talking about location. Okay. Who wants to start talking about this topic? You can mention the name of your company and even the, yeah, the address, the location, where is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Para decir está ubicado en, you are going to say, my company is located in, Ah, ok. Sí. Only one, only one, only one, no more than one, only one. Es solo uno, solo uno, no más. Veo un montón de manos arriba, a lot of hands up. Muchos pidiéndome la oportunidad de expresarlo. Me, me, me. Can I do it, teacher? Can I do it? Okay, y me My cuesta. Uh, it's really difficult for me to, to decide which one. Salvo. Me cuesta decidir quién va a ser el primero porque tengo muchas manos arriba. Pero bueno, voy a, voy a comenzar con Esmeralda. No porque tengo 20 manos arriba. Todos listos, aprovechando la última semana. Todos quieren. Eso es importante. Ok, Esmeralda, tell us. Teacher, creo que Ingrid quería participar también. Ella, ella estuvo diciendo. No sé si no la escuchó. Pero bueno, nos vamos a ir con la manito y luego vamos con Ingrid. A ver si subió la manito o no subió la manito. Ok. Ok. Bueno, Esmeralda le va a dar el pase a Ingrid entonces. Bueno. It's up to you. Are you ready, Ingrid? Ingrid, are you there, Ingrid? Hello. Okay, tell us. What did I, Ingrid? Entonces era... No era Ingrid. Creo que yo quedé en nombre. Era Ivette. Ivette, creo que era. Era... Sandra. <laughs> Bueno. <laughs> Hello. Era Sandra. Compañera, <laughs> no quería participar y está cediendo la palabra. <laughs> Lo siento, Ingrid. Era Sandra. <laughs> Okay, who, who, wants to, who wants to get the floor one? Okay, let me ask you some question. Um, let me see. I'm going to ask uh, um, that Paul is now. Okay, Car Carlos, do, where, where do you work, Carlos? Where do you work? Uh, my company is located in San Salvador. Okay. Street Latin. Where, where is in a specific location? Will you tell us? Um, no sé cómo se dice Colón. No lo recuerdo, la verdad. The name of the, uh, of the colony? Ah, uh, uh, Project El Salvador. Okay, but, but uh, there is um, a specific avenue or a street or something? Um, the strip, his name is Lo Diplomático. Okay, because we are, we need to ask specific information. Um, 
my my company is location uh, is location in San Salvador. Okay. Okay, somebody wants to wants to share the location. What about you, Mayra? Tell me, where do you work? Where do you work? Where is located your company? The name of the street and the avenue, maybe. My company is located in neighborhood neighborhood from very concepción. Okay. Continue, continue. Um La Unión. The name of the street or something? Fish Avenida. No sé cómo decir entre Novena Avenida, o sea, Primera Avenida y Novena Avenida Norte. No sé cómo decirlo. Ah, uh, Night Avenue and? Um, prim primera y Novena Avenida Norte. First and Ninth Avenue. Uh, me, me salí de la, de la reunión presidencial. Okay. Okay, North Avenue. Perdió Pierce conexión, and Carlos. Nine. Perdió conexión, Carlos. Sí, es que por accidente cerré la, cerré la, la, la videoconferencia. Ah, pues, okay. pues, creí que sí. un meteoro había pasado ahí. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Mayra. And the first and ninth North Avenue. Okay, and the first and ninth North Avenue. Okay, in the city? Michael, um, La Unión. La Unión. La Unión, La Unión. En el lugar más fresco de El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Bueno, por ahí va a comenzar el ferry ya para Costa Rica. Así <laughs> dice. I got some news. I, I, I would like to go there and try it. Quiero saber si es cierto, quiero probarlo. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see, Rosalie. It is located in 8th Avenue, South, South and 10th District. Um, Oriente, no sé cómo se dice. East. It's number 47. Okay, thank you. Evelyn, Karina? Uh, my company, Lara Street, Team South Avenue, San Jacinto, Nate for Hall. Okay, Katia Maria. No, uh, the my company is located in between South Eighth Avenue and is no East Tenth Street, San Salvador. In the capital, also Salvador. Okay, somebody else wants to do it. In mass, in mass. No. Next, my next. You okay? Go ahead. My company is location. It's located. Yo lo, lo busqué, no sé. It's located. Order, perdón. It's located. It's located. Uh, order of um, Malta, Boulevard Boquerón, Strip de Cora, Building Santa Elena, 
Urbanization of Cuscatlán. No sé si lo dije bien. Okay. María. No. Don Alejandro Cruz. What about you, sir? Where do you work? Uh, my company is location. Located. Lo okay. Company is located. Uh, about bypass Chalchuapa. Sir, the bypass Chalchuapa. Uh, I was. Uh, the country. Okay. In the countryside. Uh, yes. Okay. And para ir me parece una mani to the English that we do this month. So I check out a seer. Okay, tell me English. What about you? Company is located. In Crematorium yeah. Street. Located. Located. Es con ED al final. Yeah, located. Sí, oh. localizada. Ubicada. Ah, ok. Porque si solo la dejamos sin el ED, dice localizar, ubicar. Mm. Y ahí ya necesitamos un participio de los verbos. Ok, está bien. Eh... Is in Crematorium Street in front of Unianta Santa Ana. Okay, it's like a prison. Es como una zona franca. ¿Cómo? Es, es como una zona franca donde está su empresa. Sí, algo así. Yeah, like a prison. Okay, thank you. Let us continue then. Julia is there. Welcome, Julia, Janet. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, buenas tardes. Glad to see you again. Okay, let us continue. Okay, we are going to talk about prepositional space. Let me get that here. Okay. Let me get bigger this. Okay, we are going to talk about prepositional space. We already talked about prepositional time, and maybe, uh, maybe some of you are going to get confused, but uh, I'm going to try to explain you in, in a better way in order that you can understand the use of the of these words too. Ojalá, pero no se confundan porque las mismas palabras las vamos a usar también como preposiciones de lugar, las que habíamos de tiempo. Y ahí es donde tenemos que tener el cuidado respectivo. But before that, uh, we need to talk about what, what is a preposition. And we are going to start saying that prepositions play are used to show the position or location of one scene with another. Okay, do you understand exactly the, the concept? Comprendemos el concepto de lo que es una preposición de lugar? Para qué se yes, teacher. Eh, se usan para mostrar la pos el posición o, o, el, eh, o la ubicación de alguna de alguna cosa con otra. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Perfect. Okay. Sí, en frente, al lado, a través. Ah, you got some idea, right? Yeah. What, what about the power? What can you tell me? Amanda. How do you say in this one? Okay, but say the name of the animal and, and the, the name of this uh, too. Inside. Okay, dígame el nombre del animalito, la, la posición y luego el nombre de este. De este. The, uh, it is under the box. Ah, okay, it is on the box. Okay. But what, what about the next one? Somebody wants to tell me here. The bear is between the parts. Ah, okay. Between. Significa entre dos cosas. Between. Ah, uh -huh. 
about the second microphone is open and then so please try to mute. Okay, thank you. What about the third one? This one, somebody else wants to tell me. What is the position here in this picture? Tell me. Next to. Ah, oh, okay, the kid is next to the box. Next to, okay. Um, What about this one? Inside. In box. In, in box. box. Oh, in box. Next one. The query is about the box. Okay. Oh. We, are, we are going to find out about an over, but we, we need to be careful about that. What about this one? Behind the box. Repeat again. Behind. Uh, behind. Behind. Okay. We can pronounce it two different ways. And what about the, this one? The baby is so glad the box. It's on. on. On the box. And the last one? In front the box. In front of, in front of, in front of. Okay, but don't worry. No, no se preocupen los demás. Eh, Teacher, in number six, number? repeat, please. Number, number six. Number six. This one, behind or behind, we can pronounce in both ways. Podemos pronunciarla de las dos maneras, behind the box or behind, detrás de. Eh, no, pero está sobre la caja, como volando sobre la caja. Ah, oh, no, 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 you are talking about this one. Sí, ah. ese, teacher. Ah, okay. I told you, yo mencioné, Dos. Somebody told me over. Alguien me dijo over. And above. Ahí ya voy a clarificar esas dos. Porque al final eh, el significado podría parecer igual, pero la posición no. But I'm going to do it later on. Pero ya se lo voy a clarificar más adelante. Okay, take a look at this. We, which preposition is play is this? Tell me. Tell me which preposition of play is this? Inside. Mm. Under. Just under. Could be under. Ah, okay. Under. What is the meaning in Spanish? Debajo. Debajo de. Okay. What about this one? Which preposition of play is this? Take a look at the picture. Over the box. Excuse me? Repeat. On, on box. Mm. Take a look. So, yeah. It is on the box. On the box. On the box. Okay, next. Which preposition is placed? This, take a look at the picture. Next to the box. Okay, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. No, next to, it is in front of, in front of, in front of. In front of. Which preposition is placed? This, take a look at the picture. Behind the box. Repeat again. Behind the box. Behind, behind the box. Let me see. Okay, behind, behind. Try to keep in mind. What about this one? Which preposition play is this? Take a look at the picture. This is next to box. Hello. Next to. Ah, okay, next to. Okay, B, you got next to. Eh, necesito ver que más también por el test. We proposition as play is this. Take a look at the picture. Inside the book. Inside. 
in in the box in the box porque okay, in teacher si sí está dentro Okay, which prepositions place the take a look at the picture? Uh huh, tell me. Between. Between. Okay, cuando está entre dos cosas es between. Okay, between. Pero si estuviese, eh, si por ejemplo hay cinco muchachas y usted dice entre todas ellas, la más bonita es Fulana del Tal. Is that possible that I can use between? No. Ah, okay. Which one I have to use? Um, ¿Cuál será la que tengo que usar? Aroa. que se llama Amon. 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 Like Among Us. Okay, guarden. Ahí, ahí está. Okay, this is an exercise for you in order that you can practice. Okay. I'm going to get closer and you are going to do it by yourself. Okay, complete the exercise according to the picture. I'm going to give you a lie, a minute, another day you can resolve, try to write it down in your notebook, and later on we are going to discuss and share the answer with all of you. If you want, you can uh, take a screenshot, please. Pueden tomar una captura, enviarla al grupo para comenzar a hacerlo. That's when I should do it, let me know this. Okay, thank you. Let us try to resolve. You are going to resolve. Well, in your notebook. I'm going to wait for you in order to do it and do it and bring it back to solve it. Teacher. Hello? Eh, la imagen no se veía completa y habla de pies o de, creo, los sus pies están y no se veía completa. Pero al menos yo no la vi completa. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see again. Veamos si es que tiene algún problema la imagen. Ah, you need to take, take a look at the picture, Brian. Okay, permítame, vamos a ver la imagen aquí para poder sacar las respuestas. You are right. Okay, now you can do it. Take a look, take a look at the picture, take a look at the picture. Or maybe uh, you can just take a look only the picture when you have to here. Yeah. Okay, you got it there. Okay, now you can take a uh, screenshot. No se visualiza, teacher. Really? My goodness. Hold on a second. No, no se mire nada. Permítame un segundo. Uh, um, okay, I'm here again. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to get bigger here. And you can take a look now. What about now? Tell me if you can see it. No, that's the teacher. Can you see it or not? Sí, yes, yes, hoy sí. I'm, yes, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You got it there. 
same screenshot in our face. Hello. Hicieron la captura? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Here we go. Let us do it now. Try to resolve. Let us speak. As soon as you finish, let me know, please. I'm going to finalize and finish.
Did you finish? I'm finished, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody wants tell me, tell me, please, you already finished. Okay, later we saw what we have a lot of things to do. Okay, um, we got it here. Okay, based on the picture that we have there, basado en la imagen que tenemos ahí, we can resolve. Okay, number one, who wants to read the number one? She is sitting, a chair. She is sitting on a chair. Okay, she is, she is sitting on a chair. Okay, number two. Ladies and gentlemen. There is another chair. Hay otra silla. The woman. In front of the woman. In front of, in front of the woman. In front of the woman. Pronoun. Okay, thank you. Number three. Her feet are the table. Her feet. Sus pies. Sus her, pies. Under the table. Under the table. Okay. Number four, the woman is holding a cup, her hands. Between her hands. Could be between her hands. Okay, number five, the, 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 the table are a laptop, a paper, a calculator, and a calendar, two pens, and a muffin. On the table. Uh, okay, on the table are a laptop, a paper, a calculator, and a payment calendar, two pens, and a map. And the last one, number six. The woman bag is next to the table. Next to the table. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now uh, we are going to work on our material. Let me see what I have. Okay, I've got it here. You can find it. Let me tell you the number of the page where you can find this information. You can find it on page number 39, I guess. Yes. Lo pueden encontrar en la página número 39. The activity number two says, listen to your teacher read the following places from the map. Okay, we have different places like the band, sport, sport college, school, mall. We have restaurant, arrow companies, uh, bookware. We have the city hall, the church, the park. Uh, well, 
Esos son los lugares que tengo en el mapa. And also, I got the first avenue, the second avenue. Uh, I had the Barrios Street, tengo el Barrios Street, y tengo el Roosevelt Street too. Tengo eh, la calle Barrios, la calle Roosevelt, primera avenida, second avenue. Okay. And also, I got some names, like uh, as already mentioned. I got a school, I got a sport palace, I got a bank, I got a mall, I got a restaurant. Um, I got an, the Arrows Company, the Book World, the City Hall, and the Church. City Hall. Do you know what is City Hall? And of course, in the middle, we have the park. Y desde luego, en, en el centro tengo el parque. Ok, do you know what is City Hall? ¿Sabes lo que es City Hall? Alcaldía. Esa es la alcaldía municipal, ok. Y el alcalde se dice, the mayor of the city, the mayor of the city. The mayor of the city. Okay, let me see the time that I have here. Okay, don't forget that I have uh, two avenues, the first and the second one, and also I got the Barrio Street and the Roosevelt Street too, because in this way we can talk about addresses, or directing if you want to say in that way too. Because we, right here we are going to use it. Uh, okay, take a look at this three question. Use the map to answer the question below. I guess it's better if you write down this question. And later on, I'm going to show you the map again. Creo que será muy bien escribir las preguntas primero y luego les muestro el mapa otra vez. And the number one said, which street is the restaurant on? Sobre qué calle está el restaurante? Number two said, which street is the city hall on? Sobre qué calle está la alcaldía? And number three, which street is the part on so we think that is that part okay write down this question and later on i'm going to show you again the picture y luego les muestro otra vez eh, el mapa mientras no sea news Teacher. Oh. Y el parque está en medio de todo, entonces no sé cómo ponerle ahí. Oh, okay, but it's talking about which street. Which street? I'm going to show you in the picture. muestro la imagen por favor Okay. You need to take one street. 
you can take uh, what well you can use maybe you can say it is on a virtual street Okay, also there you can have uh, two different options how to give the address. And maybe you are not going to just include the, the street, but also you can use the, the avenues too in order to give me the address. Okay, let me know a little bit. Okay, what, what about the first question? Which, which street is the restaurant on? Somebody wants to give me the answer about this question? Which street is the restaurant? It's on the first, uh, I don't know, it's on Roosevelt Street. Okay, it's better if you say the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street and the restaurant is on the Roosevelt Street. And, and the first avenue. And the first avenue. Okay, thank you. Number two, which street is the city hall on? The city hall on. The city hall is on. Second Avenue and leads to Roosevelt Street. The Roosevelt Street and the Roosevelt Street. Is it? And the third one, which street? Which street is the park on? Tell me. Tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Y, y también se puede decir between. Yes, or... Oscar. Oscar, you can use between. Okay. That is why I told you that you have two options to view, or maybe, yeah, two options. Okay, somebody wants to read the address, please. The park is. Ana Victoria. It's between him. Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street from Mall. Yeah, you can say between mm -hmm. Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street from Mall. Between Barrios and, street. Between Barrios and Roosevelt Street, you can say. Or also you can say between Second and First Avenue. It is, you can use that too. As you can see, uh, at the moment that we are going to give address, you are going to use on, on. Oh, con eso, al momento de eh, hablar de eso, al, usamos la preposición on, sobre, sobre. Está sobre tal cosa. Okay. Okay, let me know. Okay, number four, number four. I have to use simple prepositions play. Take a look at that. On, in, and at the same one that, that we have in the, in the previous class. 
on, for example, uh, on the first avenue, on the corner, on the street, sobre la avenida, sobre la esquina, en la calle, sí. And how I'm going to use in, for example, in El Salvador, in El Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, we are going to use in. And at, uh, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank, I'm going to use that uh, with a specific location. I don't know if you, if you have any question related with this. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta con esto. No? Hello? Creo que no. Okay. Okay, let me. Maybe at the moment that you are going to resolve the exercise, you are going to find out. Okay, complete the location of each item using the correct preposition display and compare with the pattern. Okay, number one, say that we're in there. That is first avenue and barriers of street. Okay, don't say, don't say. Number two, the factory is located La Libertad. Number three, we use, we, we, we see you training room or the cafeteria. Number four, Anna works in the company that is town. Number five, my relative go to the mall that is Roosevelt Street. And number six, tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Okay. I got one of the put forward and try to resolve this exercise. I'm going to give you some in the that you can resolve. Ya la hizo? Not yet? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Try to work on it, and later on, we are going to compare with the rest of the class. Tomes su tiempo, luego comparamos su respuesta con la de sus compañeros para ver cómo estamos con el uso de las prepositions. Teacher. Hello. Dijo que se utiliza on en las avenidas. Okay. In the esquina or in the calle? Yes. Okay. Teacher, in the question six, um, the, como que la respuesta ya está, tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Let me see what we are trying to Okay. Can you repeat again, please? You are talking about number one or number two? Number six. Number three? Question number six. Okay, we see you. Training room or the cafeteria? Which one do you do you think? Uh, Number six, tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. The position is at. We, we are going to compare later on. Try to resolve, and later on we are going to, to compare. Okay. Resuelvan y ya vamos a comparar.
Patricia, creo que tiene el silenciado el, su micrófono. Oh, oh my. Okay, what I, I was telling you is that I already shared some information. Uh, so specifically in order that you can understand better this topic. Ya compartí con ustedes ahí unas diapositivas. Thank you, teacher. Let me try to share on the page of what I already sent it to the WhatsApp group, but maybe I'm going to do it too. Okay, I share with you this information. Compartí con ustedes esta información para clarificarles. For example, positioning. We use the positioning for uh, an enclosed space. Para un espacio cerrado. For example, in the garden, in the house, in London, in the water, in head back, in the road, in town. For example, there is nobody in the room, in the room. She lived in a small village. Ahí está muy claro. El fin. En espacios cerrados. The next one says, uh, we use the position on for a surface. Cuando hay una superficie, yo voy a usar on. For example, on the wall. Sobre la pared, on the ceiling. Sobre el cielo, on the floor, on a face, on a cover. And a question, have you seen the notice? On the notice for, I am not super busy, but it's also on. And at, I'm going to use at uh, for a point. Lo voy a usar por un punto específico. At the window, en la ventana, at the entrance, en la entrada, at the door, on the wall. At the end of the street, at the station, at the top, Bill is waiting for you at the bus stop. Bill is esperando en la parada de bus. Well, I guess this is uh, general information that you think this is not the software side that you have there. Es como información general que usted puede usar para resolver el business. I don't know if you already finished. Just let me know if you finish. No? Yes or no? Yes, finally. Okay, let, 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 let us see. There are more lazies. Don't say, scroll to get us about to finish. Okay, I got it here. Number one, so you are working the bank. That is. First Avenue and Paris Street. The answer is on on on. Okay, uh, let me switch the color here. Yeah, I'm going to use the red color. Okay, it's on. Okay, I work in the band that it is on First Avenue and Paris Street. Okay, second one. In. The answer is in. In. The factory is located. Hello? In La Libertad. In, because it's inside the city, porque está dentro de la ciudad, por eso es in. Okay, number three. We, you, we, we see you. A training room or at, at cafeteria? At at training room or at the cafeteria. 
or the cafeteria? Cafeteria. 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 Okay, now four. On a works in a company that is. That is in town. In town. In town. That is in the city. It's not dentro la ciudad. Okay. Now if I say my relatives go to the mall, that is on the on on porque hay una superficie on Roosevelt Street. And number six, telling that we are at the meeting room with everybody. See? The answer is hello. Hello. At oh, okay, right here. I don't need I don't need to put anything, right? No necesito poner nada porque ya tengo el lado ahí. Telling that we are at the meeting room with Sí, así le había dicho que ya estaba la respuesta ahí. Ah, ok. Esos son, son distractores para ver si escribe otro. Ok, haga por favor un screenshot para que le quede ahí la respuesta. Ahí está, ahí está. Okay, we are going to resolve another one. Vamos a resolver la última, pero esa va a ser así, no speaking way. Right. Vamos a hacer habladito así rápido. Because of the time. El tiempo, el tiempo, el tiempo. Exactamente. Okay, let us try to resolve this one. Okay, put the correct proposition in on or at. Who wants to resolve the problem? Quien quiere resolver la primera? Number one. The wine is the bottle. Chum. In. Okay, but, but read oh, the whole sentence. Lea toda la oración, por favor. The wine is in the bottle. In the bottle, okay. See, porque el vino está dentro de la botella. Okay, number two. Somebody else. Alguien más. Me tengo para diez participaciones diferentes. I don't see any hands up. No veo ninguna mano arriba. ¿Qué pasa? Why is it number two? Say, pass me the dictionary. It's the bookshelf. Pass me the dictionary. It's on the bookshelf. Uh, it, it, it is on the bookshelf. Okay. <laughs> Ok, pasamos el diccionario, está sobre el estante. Ok, number three. Somebody else. Alguien más, por favor, number three. Jennifer is at work. Jennifer? Jennifer is at work. Ok, Marvin, are you there? Would you like to resolve number four for me, please? Eh... Uh... Berlin is in Germany. Berlin is in Germany. Uh -huh, okay. Number five. Number five. You have something in your face. Tiene algo tu cara. You had something on your face. Ah, you had something on your face. Okay. Number six. To left. The traffic light. Do you know what is traffic light? Light. Oh, number six, number six, number six. To left, here on the left. Okay, to left. 
the traffic light. At? Ah, uh, uh, okay, the, uh, at the traffic light? To the left, at the traffic light. Mm. What is traffic light in Spanish? Un semáforo. Okay, so a semáforo. Okay, number seven. She was listening to classical music. The radio, radio. In. She was listening to classical to music. Music. In the radio. Será in? In the radio. On the radio. Será on the radio. Ah, ya mencionaron a hoy si estamos en problemas. ¿De dónde viene la música? In the radio. Ah, in the radio. Okay. Number eight. He has a house, the river. He has a house, the river. Hello? Oh, at, at the river. Será the river? Mm. In the river? In the river? Será entre el río? Ah, on. O será on the river. On the river. Mm. He has... No está sobre el río. Tiene que ser at. Really? Because we are talking about a specific uh, location. Okay, number nine. The answer is the bottom of the page. He, he, he has a, a house in the river. Nine. Be careful, be careful. Number nine. The answer is the bottom of the page. La respuesta está. Huh? In, on, at. In. Será in? Yeah. The bottom of the page. Será in? Yeah. O será something else? O será otra cosa? He's talking about page. Habla de la página. On the bottom. Ah, uh, on the bottom of the page, okay. Estamos hablando de una superficie de la página. And I'm saying, Julie, it will be the play now. ¿Dónde está ahí? ¿Dónde estará? In the play. In the play. No puede estar on. No puede ir sobre la vida, no. Tiene que ir dentro de Ok, you got the answer here. In order that you can clarify. Uh, we got the answer. The wine is the bottle asking the dictionary. It is on the book show. Ok, let me see. Okay. Number three, Jennifer is the word. Number four, Berlin is in German. Five, you have something on the place. Number six, too late at the traffic light. You are right. At okay, number seven said she was listening to classical music on the radio. On the radio. Number eight, he has a house on the river. Number nine, the answer is at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of the page. And number 10, Julie 
will be on the plane now. Okay. Number 10, teacher yeah, on maybe, the plane. Yeah, maybe right here, there is some mistake that could be in the plane, because inside the plane, not on the plane. But sometimes we need to be careful about Even though that we are talking about estamos hablando incluso de, de, de la superficie, but at the same time, it, uh, the plane is, uh, when we say in the plane, it's because uh, it's uh, an enclosed area. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see the time that I have here. I need to see the time here. Okay, let me see. Let's start in the Chicago Dennis again. This is in the Chicago Assistance Service. I got only 16. But I have a semana, 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 Necesitamos tener el 80% de la asistencia. Si no la tenemos, tenemos problemas si no es. Ok, later on, I'm going to share with you a uh, extra exercise related with this presentation. Para ahí les voy a enviar a uh, un ejercicio de esto. And we can discuss tomorrow. Ok, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria, ¿estás ahí? Gracias. Ok, um, Andrés. Gracias, Tito. Ok, Ángel. Gracias, Tito. Brenda. Brenda. Es no, no. El Carlos. Present. Diana. Yamilet. Diana Yamilet. I don't see you here. Ella dijo que no se iba a conectar, teacher. Porque dijo que iba a ir seguro. Ella es la que está enferma o la bebé, no sé. Bueno, ya le vamos a poner el comentario ahí. Vamos a ver si nos está preocupando el curso. Vamos a ver si nos está preocupando el Comentario. Ok, uh, thank you. Uh, Erika? Present teacher. Yeah, hello, Erika. Say hello, Erika. Ok, Evelyn. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you. Um, Ingrid, Ingrid. Present teacher. Ok, two. Um, Smile, Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, it's there too. Thank you, sir. Um, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Katia. 
Present teacher. Luis Armando. Bueno. Marvin. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Mayra. Present teacher. Eh, Michael. No, Michael here. Sandra Ivette. Sandra. Present teacher. And Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok, the chair for today is... Falto yo, teacher. La tutoría para hoy... Rosalie Ivón. Where are you? Oh, Red, Rosalie Ivón. Ok, I'm sorry. I'm getting blind. Ya me estoy haciendo blind. I need to wear glasses. My goodness. Bueno, ni modo. Toca visitar la óptica. Ok, uh, let me see who's number 16. Tienen el número 16, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. You are going to have something at the end of the section in order that you can resolve your doubts. So try to look at your notes and remember all the questions and doubts that you have. Busque su cuaderno de anotas de apuntes y veamos al final de la sesión todas sus dudas. Ok, ladies and gentlemen, we have only got four days left. Nos quedan solamente cuatro días para terminar este módulo. And then you are going to have at least uh, one week of vacation. Por lo menos van a tener una semana de vacación para comenzar el otro módulo. I hope that all of you can continue. Espero que todos puedan continuar. Nada es fácil, everything is difficult. Entre más difícil es algo, más durará. Todo lo que es fácil llega fácil. Se Así lo dice el poeta y el escritor. Así que por favor pónganle atención a eso. Lo difícil, luche, luche, luche hasta que logre conseguir. Lo facilito, facilito se va a ir asistir. Practice, practice over and over. Le quedan cuatro días, por favor, practique, participe, hable. No sea como la lectura, que allá era eh, a bit shy. Mañana vamos a oír a Erika hablar, vamos a oír a, a quién más. Bueno, Marvin, que por ahí está, Julia también, de Rolling. Bueno, creo que la mayoría de los que están todos han participado. Ahí está Carlos también, que se le cerró ahí por accidente en la sesión. Pero luego se incorporó. Eso es bueno. Así que tranquilo, ya vamos llegando. Ahorita ya estamos eh, en la pista, aterrizando ya del avión, vagando el giro. Y en cuatro días nos estacionamos y le vamos a decir, ok, welcome to National Air Force of El Salvador, Oscar Amur Coronero. Welcome to El Salvador, enjoy the pupusas. Ahí está. Es un vuelo que hemos hecho juntos. Así que quien no lo disfrutó, I'm sorry, baby. But in my case, I have enjoyed. Pero en mi caso... Yo sí lo he disfrutado de estar con ustedes, así que yo siempre le saco provecho a todo, así que tranquilos. Todavía tiene chance en los últimos kilómetros de este vuelo que hemos hecho juntos. Así que lo voy dejando. Ah, ok, otra cosa, ah, por ahí les compartí eh, alguna información referente a algunas cosas que quizás ya vimos para que puedan afinar algunas cositas que tal vez no les quedaron claras. No he querido inundar ese, ese, ese WhatsApp ahí porque algunos van a decir, ah, hay tanta cosa, pero bueno, así toca. Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Take care.
And thank you, night, everybody. Bye, bye. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Los que me den actividades en la plataforma, por favor, no se les olvide. Necesito estar en actividades. Necesito esos cienes de nota ahí, por favor. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. bye. Okay, my guy, Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. I'm here. Tell me, Mayra. Este, voy a buscar mi cuaderno, ya lo tengo por acá. Eh, fíjense que el, los temas anteriores, pues creo que no tengo muchas dudas. Este de ahora sí me agarró en curva, porque para serle sincera, este, tengo que... 10 años de estar trabajando ahí en ese laboratorio que fue desde que salí de bachillerato, solamente hice bachillerato y desde entonces no había lo que o sea, visto nada aparte de lo que vi en la escuela básica y el bachillerato y este tema de ahora sí de las proposiciones del lugar como que me agarró un poco así en curva, ¿verdad? pero siento que leyendo toda la información que tengo y todo, pues como, como que poner ahí al día, ¿verdad? Porque sí, fue como que bastante and, nuevo. Okay. And where do you study the high school? In, in La Unión? In La Unión. Where do you study the, the high school? The name of the high school. Ah, este, vivo exactamente en, en el propio como que La Unión, La Unión, este, Huizquil eh, se llama el lugar. ¿Cómo se llama? Huizquil. Wow. El complejo educativo profesor Raúl Flores Moreno. Ahí hice mi, mi básica y mi bachillerato. Ah, ok. Primera ah. vez que escucho eso. Entonces, este, bueno, gente, es que quizás los vacíos de este tema, pues como le digo, ya leyendo todo y comprendiendo, pues le voy a, le voy a agarrar, vea. Ok. Porque sí. Por, no. por, ahí le, por ahí le compartí a su WhatsApp las imágenes que acabo de, 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 de poner especificando cuándo va a usar cada uno de al menos la, las tres principales in, on, and at y no sí, sé y si... ahí lo vi ya, ya lo tengo let me see if I can see let me see let me see let me see let me bueno, ahí teníamos el concepto de lo que es una preposición. Ok, veamos acá de nuevo, familia. Eh, la preposición in dice, we use the preposition in for an enclosed space. Vamos a usarla para como un lugar cerrado, ¿no? Por ejemplo, in the garden, in the house, in London, el que nos estamos refiriendo al país en sí, in the weather, in her bag. In a row, en una línea, in a town, en un pueblo. Y los ejemplos que tenemos ahí dicen: There is no bad in the front. Why can't you? En el cuarto. She lives in a small village. Ella vive en una vía pequeña. En el Entonces, el in va a ser en lugares que están cerrados. Luego. Tengo on y dice, we use the preposition on for a surface, donde hay como una superficie. For example, I say on the wall, sobre la pared, on the ceiling, on the floor, on the table, on the cover. Y tengo ahí una pregunta que dice, have you seen the knowledge? Have you seen the, the knowledge on the knowledge bar? ¿Has visto eh, la noticia? Donde on the knowledge Que se podría hacer como la, lo que le llaman en escuelas el periódico muy válido. Ok. And at the end, we have at. Al final tengo at que dice que lo voy a usar. Eh, for a point. Por un punto de específico un lugar. At the window. At the entrance. At the door of the wall. At the end of the street at the station, at the top. And the example that I have is uh, there is waiting for you at the bus stop. Con esas tres explicaciones podemos hacer lo siguiente. 
Vamos a dibujar un segundo. Silencios, Juan. Bueno, bueno, para que necesitamos uno que solo tengamos este ejercicio. Que solo sea in, at, and on. Perdón, silencio. Okay, let me share with you. You are going to tell me the answer. Okay, I'm going to share it in the video. Okay, they are sitting the table on at or in. Um, in. Ojo, ojo lo que dice. They are sitting. Ah, um, sería entonces on, on the table. El número sí. Veamos. Same the answer. Ah, ah. No, on. Ojo con eso. Okay, what about this one? The meal is in the fridge. Where is it? La leche no está. Mm -hmm. En la refrigeradora. ¿Dónde está? At, in, or on? Mm, in. Okay, let's see. We are going to submit the answer. Yes, it is. Okay, next. Is Peter office... The first or second floor. At, in, on. Está la oficina de Peter. En el primero o segundo piso. On. Okay, there are C on. Veamos si es on. Yes, it is. Next, why are all these clothes the bed? ¿Por qué está toda esta ropa en la cama? On, in, at, chum. Um, at. At, are you sure? <laughs> Okay, let us see. The third is uh, uh, The answer is on. Uh, okay, please put the clothes. Uh, the wear on Add on in. Uh, at. Mm, okay, you say that. Uh-uh, it is in. No, no, pero. Okay, are you on? On at in. In. Mm. You say in. Are you sure? Uh-uh, it's at on. And uh, this can be the last. I like the sea. Me gusta el océano, but I prefer swimming and a swim pool. Up in or on? On. Será on or será in? Okay, veamos. You say on. Ah, uh -uh, in. Porque dentro de la piscina. Okay, I don't want to see her the party tonight. Yo no quiero verla en la fiesta esta noche. In at. at. Okay, let us see. At. Oh, bingo. Okay. I see. Okay, thank you. 
Bueno, creo que con ese ejercicio ah, le ha quedado aquí un poco más claro. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Bien, ¿alguna sí, pregunta que tengo? Vamos a ver. Ah, solo esta era una pregunta que traía desde unos días antes. Este, para las preguntas, teacher, del yes y no, el verbo siempre va a ir en presente. Cuando son de yes, no question. Ajá, de yes, no question. El verbo siempre va en presente. ¿Va a ser en presente? Ajá. No necesariamente. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo hacer una, eh, le puedo decir, did you call me? Did you call me? Está en pasado. ¿Me llamó? Uh -huh. la, la respuesta sería, yes, I did o no, I didn't. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Entonces también pueden estar en pasado. Uh -huh. Ok. Pues, yo creo que eso sería todo. Otra, otra podría ser, por ejemplo, Did you enjoy the party? Disfrutó la fiesta. Y usted va a decir, Yes, I did. O, oh, No, I did. Sí, la disfruté. No, no la disfruté. En tiempo pasado. Mm, okay. ok. Ok. Ah, y, y, oh, ah, yeah, ya, ese creo que sí. Eh, la pronunciación de. Ahí no sé si yo es que lo pronuncio mal. ¿Es breakfast o breakfast? ¿Con el desayuno? Uh -huh. Ok, breakfast, breakfast. Breakfast, o sea, como que no lleva una I, como a veces suele salir al salida de break, como de un break. Sino break, que break, break fast. Break, 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 break fast. No, ok, you can, ah, okay. It, you can hit it in this different way. Break, break fast, break fast. Break fast, break fast. Ok. Hay, Ahí siempre... Algunas veces, algunas palabras eh, tienden como a tener eh, de dos sonidos. ¿no? Uh -huh. Aunque el estándar eh, podría ser solo uno. Pero de forma coloquial, es decir, en lo natural, por ejemplo, esa que les mencionaba, behind o behind, es aceptable. Okay. Sí. Eh, ok. Pues por lo demás, todo bien. Okay. Eh, lo que he hecho es que he repasado, he visto los videos de, la, de las clases anteriores. Para... Ah, ok, perfecto. ¿Y cuánto tuvo en el midterm? Pues decía 100 de 100. Ok, perfecto, la emoción. Aquí también lo tengo. Aquí tengo el sol. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Excelente. ¿Es eso? ¿O si tienes una pregunta? Una pregunta. Ok. For now. Excellent. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, we left only our four days. Gracias por su tiempo y les recuerdo solo que han cuatro días. Aproveche el tiempo. And uh, I want to thank you because uh, most of the time you are the first one that get in the platform. También agradecerle porque ha sido una de las primeras que siempre ha entrado a la plataforma. Entonces, eso es importante. Sí, la, la verdad, como le digo, sí me llama bastante la atención, pues, y por lo mismo que tenía como que bastante tiempo, yo dije, no, Mayra, es hora de que, que empieces otra vez, que avances. Porque sí, o sea, imagínese cuánto tiempo ha pasado. Sí, es Larsa. Sí, pero ya, ya creo que ya, ya encajó, ya, ya comenzó a recordar todo lo, lo que tenía guardadito por ahí. Y ahorita ya sí. hay que utilizarlo. Y de aumentar sí, sí. el vocabulario. Sí. Así es que adelante. And I hope to see you. Ok, thank you very much. Good night. Good night, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you.